Chris Abbott here with a guide on surviving your first night in Don't Starve. Open up your crafting menu, go down to light, and we're going to select campfire. So now that we have our campfire, uh, you can see that it's lighting up a pretty limited space surrounding the actual fire itself. Um, you can improve this actually. If you go into your inventory and you select logs, you'll notice that you have the option to add fuel this will allow you to use the logs that you've chopped down and throw them on the campfire and that way you're going to increase the uh, the amount of light that you light up the area. This is going to be very helpful uh, because the campfire will die down over time so you want to make sure that before you have a campfire going you have enough logs so you can keep adding fuel to the fire. Now right here, if we look at our inventory, we have some carrots, we have some berries, and we have some seeds. Now we can eat all these normally, um, but it is almost a better idea to do it at nighttime because you are near a campfire. The reason that you want to do this is because you actually have the option to cook some of the food that you get. So during your first moments with the game, if you've been diligent in collecting food, you can now go up to the campfire, have something like a carrot selected, and as you can see, you can cook it and then you get a roasted carrot. If you guess that you can do this with berries and with seeds, you are correct. So we'll go ahead and cook those. And then it looks like we've got roasted carrots, roasted berries, and toasted seeds now in our inventory. So we can go ahead and eat those and that will boost our hunger level back up to a minimum. And it, we're lucky that there's not too, too much going on at nighttime right now. It looks like we don't really have too, too much to be able to do right now because it is early in the game. However, if you go into the fight menu, there is a grass suit that's available to go ahead and construct. So we're going to select that and we're going to go ahead and make the grass suit with the cut grass and twigs that we've acquired during the daytime. And the game will auto equip the grass suit for you. This is a good idea. So just in case any monsters come out at night and they start to attack you, you've got a little bit of armor on Wilson. Now, if you go into the light menu, we also have the option to create a torch. This is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Uh, when you create the torch, you can go ahead and equip it. Wilson can only carry one item at a time, so you have to put away any items that you already have, like an axe or anything. But once you equip the torch, you can go ahead and walk around, and there's going to be a small area lit around Wilson. This is good to do if you're running low on food. You can maybe go out and look for some berries or maybe even a carrot or seeds. But for right now, we're going to hang out back at the campfire. It looks like the campfire is running pretty low on fuel. So we'll go ahead and select the log and feed the campfire some more logs to get that fire roaring again. And with the axe equipped, we'll go ahead and scout down here, grab some flowers, see if there's anything going on by the berry bush, doesn't look like it. And we'll go ahead and begin chopping down this evergreen tree. Now the campfire will deplete over time. So if you can manage to chop down a tree, grab those logs and keep feeding that fire. And we don't have too, too much longer to go. So we'll go ahead and just feed the rest of the logs that we chopped down to the campfire. And we'll go ahead and have our last midnight snack. Go ahead and cook these carrots.
And now that we're full on carrots, it looks like the sun's about to rise. And congratulations, we've now made it through our first night in Don't Starve. If you have any other helpful hints or tips, be sure to add them to IGN's wiki, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.